Hi guys, I changed my position. I was sitting a couple of minutes ago, I got tired of it. Anyway, uh, ma, <laughs> sorry. The next question is, yeah, food. Food in the Philippines. Who doesn't like food? I love food. Everybody loves food. So how do we spend money on foods in the Philippines? Okay. It really depends on the family. Uh, my mother's side, they love cooking and they, I'm not saying they are rich, but they like to spend money on food. So it depends on the family, but there is one similarity. I have discovered um, one of my aunt, she lives in La Union. I forgot the name, but it's near the beach. And then the, you know, living, the day, you know, the salary of a normal person there, the highest is 150 for eight hours. So basically, um, yeah, it's kind of low, right? But they survive. So when it comes to food in the Philippines, first it depends on the place. Uh, like Angela City nowadays, it's becoming more and more expensive, especially for people in Angela. Why? Because more and more establishments are opening, and then Filipinos in Angela City are getting more and more interested in trying out those expensive establishments. That's why money is not enough for their food. Why? Because maybe they want Starbucks for coffee, Pizza Hut for lunch, or a buffet. You know? If you know what I mean. But for countryside, uh, here's what my stepmoms told me before. And usually tells my father when we have a little bit hard time with food, when I live with them. She would always say it's better in the province or countryside because in the countryside, even if you don't have money, you will eat. Now what does she mean by that? She means that there are vegetables everywhere, the foods are really cheap. Like for example, rice in Angola City would be like 40 pesos per kilo. Maybe now it's 35 and then you have to buy food, gas, and all, unlike in countryside. My stepmom says sometimes you can get free vegetables from a neighbor. So it really depends on their lifestyle. Uh, because if I, whenever I think about it, how can my salary before is almost 25? So thousand but it's not enough for me why because i like eating good you know at restaurants but then when we i went to my aunt's place my 100 pesos was really considered big for people right there and i felt a little bit bad because it was you know sometimes i think it's only for starbucks or something anyway um my point is, foods in the Philippines is not really cheap if you will choose to eat at places where there are expensive foods. But if you will go to like a public market or if you, will, you are in countryside, it's still cheap. Especially public market. My stepmom usually shops at the public market. And so does my grandmother from my mother's side. Mm, they could shop with like 2,500 pesos for one week for four people. And yeah, uh, they really get good deals, especially my aunt, my grandma leaves like, they go to that public market like, 3 a.m. because they come home at 5 a.m. I'm still sleeping that time so I really don't know but they really get you know cheap items if they shop but if you go shopping at hypermarket of course it's gonna be expensive right so that's just my point right there 
So foods, um, it really, it really matters on what kind of foods your the family is eating, and of course where they are buying their foods from. But usually, if it's a countryside, especially Visayas area, the food is still relatively cheap there. Um, my step, when my stepmom sister sends money, they're like one thousand pesos. She told us, she always tells me that one thousand pesos really goes you know a long way for the family so mm. now um why did i make this topic this is for the guy who's asking about the girl who wanted to buy food for her mom i know that yeah she wanted to feed her mom who doesn't want to feed our family right but Hmm, that's how food is so I don't know how much you're sending them but it depends where they are eating what they are eating the kind of lifestyle as I told you uh, I told you my salary before of course it's not always 25 sometimes it's 20 15 it depends on my students but hmm, it's usually not enough that's me but for others uh, as I've said, 1,000 pesos really goes a long way, depending on their lifestyle. So, I don't know if my video helped, but yeah, it depends on where you shop, what type of foods you eat, and the place, you know, the neighborhood. So, if you still live in the countryside, and you shop at local public markets you can really get good deals and cheap and fresh items but if you are a person who lives in the city and you want to shop while there is an air conditioner you see we don't have costco so um, i guess you know the answer it's kind of pricey like i'm gonna give an example a banana at the public market like 24 pieces it would only cost you if it's banana season it can only cost you like about 40 pesos and that is about yeah, 12 24 pieces but at the shopping mall it would cost you already about 124 pesos because i saw my boss they usually shop bananas in sm so then they don't eat it <laughs> so just kidding we don't um, they just make it into a shake I hope that helps some um, that comparison I know it's a really small comparison about the bananas but mm. and yeah please mm, for those who knows other experiences regarding foods in the Philippines kindly share them because uh, my comparison is only with the city and countryside public market and yeah mm. the supermarket comparison so i hope that helps somehow mm. my next video would be about medical things in the philippines <laughs>